a very good morning to all and today we are going to start our next topic agrobacterium tumefaciens mediated gene transfer antiplants so in this topic we will learn how we can able to transfer gen genetic material from one organism to another organism and this method of agrobacterium tumefaciens we can utilize to transfer genetic material from one plant to another plant or any other type of organism uh, dna like uh, eukaryotic organism or prokaryotic genes we can able to transfer to the plants so agrobacterium tumefaciens mediated gene transfer method basically is uh, for the gene transfer method for the plant purpose only so we are transferring the gene from uh, one plant or one organism to another organism in this method we will isolate the genetic material using the any available method like pcr is the best available method and using pcr when we will isolate so we have to construct the agrobacterium tumefaciens gene and we will transfer we will infect the cells plant cells and those cells when we will propagate it after the transfection so that the plant gene harboring the plant cells we will propagate and we can able to generate the genetically modified organism so various genes we transferred using this technology by successfully and today we will discuss these uh, these agrobacterium to be efficient mediated gene transfer method so agrobacterium mediated gene transfer is the most common method of engineering dicot but also uh, we can we are utilizing nowadays for monocot so we develop in such a way that the using agrobacterium we are we can able to transfer the genetic material from uh, one plant to another plant and the useful genes we can able to we can able to transfer so using this this method agrobacterium mediated gene transfer we are transferring the genes from dicot only but nowadays we are also transferring from plant genes to the uh, monocot also gene transfer of the to the monocots is little bit tough but compared to the dicot dicot is very easy to transfer so first is successfully reported agrobacterium mediated gene transfer by b j shoal of uh, max plan institute column so he transferred successfully a foreign gene into the bacteria using the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer so before starting uh, going for the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer we should uh, know the what is agrobacterium so agrobacterium is a soil borne gram negative and root shaped bacteria and this soil because the agrobacterium mediated agrobacterium many species they are only found in the soil that's why we are calling soil borne bacteria they are gram negative bacteria and their structure if you will see their structure is root shaped and they are basically motile so in the soil when the soil is having some water so they will motile and they will be found very easily when you will take the roots of the plants and from the root Uh, surrounded the soils if you will uh, if you will culture it if you will culture on the suitable media those uh, rises for its soil or the surrounded soil of the roots so you will you will get the agrobacterium so agrobacterium we can easily ident identify we can easily isolate from the rises for its soil it is a causative agent of the crown gall disease of the dicot so many dicot plant which is affecting by the crown gall disease and this agrobacterium is only the positive agent of the crown gall disease it is having ability to transfer bacterial genes to plant genome so agrobacterium is having the capacity to transfer its genes to the plant and it will cause the crown galls it will form the galls and the structure of the galls is like a crown that why we are calling the crown galls it attracts to the wound site via chemotaxis agrobacterium attract to the plants because the uh, when any plant species it is having bounded the bounded part of the plant will release some uh, chemicals these chemicals will attract the agrobacterium so this process we are calling chemotaxis so in response to chemicals and these chemicals are like sugar and phenolic molecules like acetosilenzones 
So acetosterone zones is a chemical blocking phenolic compound. So this phenolic compound acetosterone zone will help uh, in the attraction of the agrobacterium. And artificially also we can utilize this acetosterone zone for uh, making the infection. So it is a basically chemotaxic uh, attraction and uh, acetosterone zone play and other sugar molecules uh, they will play a very important role of the attraction of this agrobacterium. These uh, chemicals will be released from the bounded cells of the plant and it will attract the agrobacterium and uh, after the attraction the process will be start. So acetosterone zone and other sugar molecules they will uh, start the chemical message to the agrobacterium and the, the chemical message will go inside the cell and a cascade system will start the infection cycle. So these acetosterone zone and other type of molecule will be secreted by the bounded or bound cell of the plants and it will start the infection. So it contains the agrobacterium contain TI plasmid and which can be transferred as tDNA region into the genome of the host plant. So the agrobacterium is containing the TI plasmid and TI plasmid is having a region that region is tDNA. tDNA means transfer DNA and transfer DNA region is there and that region only uh, transferring from agrobacterium to plant genome and it will cause the infection and after the successful integration of the plant genome it will secrete some molecules. These molecules will start formation of the gall or uh, crown galls and the structure of the galls is like crown that's why we, we are calling the crown galls and because of the, this key DNA region infection the crown gall disease will be there in the plants. Here in the photograph you can see the some agrobacterium bacteria it is an electron microscope photograph and the species of the choice for engineering dicot plant and monocot are generally resistance. Some dicot are more resistant than others. So for that this purpose agrobacterium mediated gene transfer purpose we are utilizing agrobacterium to the fish species and uh, some dicot more resistance the other many plant species they are resistance uh, against the agrobacterium proliferations and mon most mo most of the monobot plant they are also resistance so these plant species they will not be infected by the agrobacterium proliferations but many other plant species is there mostly dicot they are not resistance so complex it is the bacterium, agrobacterium tumefaciens is very complex type of bacterium and genome has been sequenced and four chromosomes is there and around 5500 genes is present on the four chromosomes. So complete genomic studies of the agrobacterium tumefaciens is completed and the total four genes, chromosomes is there and these four chromosomes containing 5500 genes is there. Next is infection and uh, tumorogenesis. So infection occur at the bounded side when the bound of the plants will release the sugar and phenolic compounds. So this phenolic and sugar compound they will attract the, this type of bacteria. It involves the recombination and the chemotaxis of the bacterium towards the bounded cells and when they, these chemical will be released so these chemical will be attract to these bacterium and they will start the gall formation. So galls are real tumors, then uh, can be removed and will grow indefinitely without hormones. So these galls, they don't require any type of external phytohormones. If you want to grow these uh, galls so that these tumors of or you can able to grow on artificial media, just you have to provide the essential nutrition, essential nutrition required for the growth and development. So in if you are growing in vitro condition, these girl cells, so these, these girl cells can able to produce the secondary metabolites and they can also produce the many other type of chemical and they can also grow in indefinitely and without hormone they can go indefinitely since these gall cells can able to produce their own hormones 
they don't require any outside support of the hormone requires so that's why they without hormone support also they can able to indefinitely grow or you can say they are immortal type of plant cells so genetic information must be transferred to the plant cells then only uh, infection will be started if the agrobacterium can't able to transfer so genetic information if the agrobacterium is can't able to transfer so the infection is not possible uh, when infection is there then only crown gall disease will be there now tumor characteristic the tumor synthesizes a unique amino acid called opine and uh, octopine and nucleine nucleine is derived from the arginine uh, agropine is another type of uh, molecule derived from the glutamate so arginine and glutamate is very important when we are talking about the octopine nucleine and agropine so opine depend on the strain of agrobacterium to efficiency and opine are catabolized by the bacteria which can use only the specific opine that is cause the plant to produce so these opines they are catabolized by the bacteria only and uh, it uh, use only the specific opine and the it will cause the plant to produce these opines so opines in uh, it is a very unique amino acid when bacteria is having infection to the plant so this opine amino acid will be synthesized in response to the infection now elucidation of the tumor inducing principle so it was recognized early that the virulent strain could be cured of uh, virulence and that cured strain could regain virulence when exposed to virulent strain suggested an extra chromosomal uh, chromosomal element so large plasmid were uh, were found in the agrobacterium tumor patient and their presence correlated with the virulence called tumor inducing or ti plasmid so when we analyze that the large plasmid so this large plasmid is correlated with the infection of the tumor uh, induction so this large plasmid can be utilized or there can be have the tumor inducing genes and these tumor inducing genes can be uh, important for the tumor induction so in the early time the virulent strain could be cured virulence and that can that cured strain could be regain virulence when exposed to virulent strain so known virulent strain and virulent strain if you will mix so virulent strain can able to give this property of virulency to the known virulent strain so it suggests that the extra chromosome element is there and these extra chromosomal strain So this way it will transfer to one organism to another organism by conjugation and uh, transduction so this conjugation and transduction can able to uh, uh, can able to regain the characteristic of virulence virulency of the agrobacteria so those bacteria which is non virulent so if you will do, if you will mix with the virulent type of strain so they will receive the virulency by the these type of genes that these transfer method now because of this we can able to understand how these agrobacterium tumor patient is having the tumor inducing property and these tumor inducing because of the presence of a uh, tumor inducing plasmid and tumor inducing plasmid genes is there that's why ti plasmid or tumor inducing plasmid is very important now ti plasmid features so two strains of ti plasmid is there and number one strain is octopine strain and second one is the nucleine strain octopine strain contain two t dna region tl and tr region tl region is a 14 kilo base pair long and tr region is 7 kilo base pair long then another strain is nucleine strain contain only uh, t dna region which is just 20 kilo base pair long the size is about 200 kilo base pair of ti uh, plasmid and has a central low role in the ground wall formation we already know that uh, tumor inducing tumor induction role is there that's why we gave the name tumor inducing plasmid so it is having a central role in the production of the gall formation so contains one or more t dna region that is integrated into the genome of the host plasmid so this ti plasmid is having Uh, one or more than t dna region and this t dna region is integrated into the plant genome and it will it 
will have can able to produce the then contain a wind region and this wind region is about 40 kilo per square long and at least 8 to 11 wind genes is there so it is having origin of replication also so it, uh, when origin of replication is there so it can able to control its replication so using the origin of replication ti plasmid can replicate their own it contain a region enabling conjugative transfer and has a genes for the catabolism of the opines now here the structure of the plasmid if you will see the wire here is the um, virulence region is there and it contain the origin of replication opine catabolism Uh, region is there and conjugative transfer region is there and t region which is uh, transferring from bacterium to the plant it is there and it is seven uh, sphere repeats is there this uh, t dna region is having left t dna border and right t dna border this left t dna border is 14 kilo per square long and right t dna border is 7 kilo per square long. so in between these right and left border the entire genes is related with the gal formation and the uh, gene for the oxygen production is there the gene for the cytokinin production and opine synthesis opine is an amino acid required for the growth of the agrobacterium so opine cytokinin and oxygen production genes it is there so when we this t dna region will be transferred to the plant genome you know, so this t dna region t dna region will synthesize the oxygen cytokinin and opine and oxygen and cytokinin the genes they are the main responsible for the crown gall formation so agri agrobacterium will transfer this t dna region so this t dna region we can able to modify it using the genetic engineering tools and we can insert our gene of interest in between the uh, left border and the right border of the t dna and the uh, number of the segments we can match with the how much the gene how much sequence is uh, there in the oxygen uh, cytokinin and opine more than that if you will insert and the the dna region will not be transferred from bacteria to plants now ti plasmid and the bacterial chromosome act in the concert to the transform the plant so agrobacterium tumbi patients chromosomal genes like cha chv a chv b csca required for initial binding of the bacterium to the plant cell and code for polysaccharide on bacterial cell surface so chva chvb csca required for the initial binding of the bacterium if we will remove the chvb chva or csca these uh, so these genes can help in the bacterial binding if we will remove means we can't able the bacteria can't able to bind with the plant cells and when they can't able to bind the uh, plant cells so the bacterium can't able to infect the plant cells so these genes can able to code the polysaccharide on the bacterial cell surface and this polysaccharide can able to attach to the plant cells so chva b and psca gene is very important in the bacterial attachment of the plant surface cells so virulence virulence region or vir region carried on the pti but not in the transferred region the dna region so virulence region is there and it is not the part of the in between the left and right region of the dna and it is outside the dna and it is not transferred uh, the dna region so it is not the part of the dna which is transferred from the bacteria to plants so gene code for protein that prepare the dna and the bacterium for the transfer this virulence region code for the protein and this protein these proteins is prepare the dna region and it will help the transfer of the dna region from bacteria to plant so dna encode gene for opine synthesis and for the tumor production and the if you if you know that t dna region three type of uh, molecules it will synthesize first is oxygen cytokinin and opine synthesis oxygen and cytokinin is very useful in the gal formation and opine uh, is a type of amino acid and uh, used for the special special growth of the bacteria so 
OCC opine catabolism genes carried on the uh, plasmid of the PI allow the bacterium to utilize opine as a nucleus. So opine can be utilized by the bacterium. That's why it is transferring the gene to the plant. And gene when it will be transferred, so opine gene can able to synthesize the opine bacteria. And this opine bacteria is characteristic for the utilization. So this amino acid of opine will be utilized by the bacterium as a nutrition. Now generation of the strand. So we know that the uh, in between the left and right border tDNA is present and this tDNA region is having three type of gene. Oxine, cytokinin and opine gene is there and this left and right border genes only will be transferred from bacteria to plant. This tDNA region first will be attached by the vir D, vir C protein and this vir D nick the lower strand at the T strand at the uh, right border sequence and bind to the 5 prime end of the right border sequence. So VIR D and VIR C type of two protein will be synthesized by the VIR region and these VIR D and VIR C will attach to the 5 prime of the tDNA and it will form a NIC to the 5 prime region. When it will form the NIC then only the transfer transfer of the tDNA region will be started. After the nicking of the VIR D and VIR C protein another protein will be will be there and it will attach as a attach and it will do helicase activity and helicase you know that it is unwind the T strand and which is coded uh, coated by the VRE protein and uh, this VRE protein will help to not again binding with the T uh, DNA region so gap will be there and this gap will be filled by the uh, polymerization or uh, polymerase activity and your very e will be start the addition from the tDNA strand. So one cell can able to synthesize only one tDNA strand by this method. So you are having the uh, separated uh, tDNA region from the plasmid. Then again in the next stage the very D protein which is initially uh, perform the nicking in the 5 prime end it will nick again from the 3 prime end of the left border so that tDNA will be separated and it is coated with the very e uh, protein so this very e protein will be coated with the tDNA uh, region and this tDNA will be transferred to the plants so second strand synthesis will be completed when the, this gap will be filled by the polymerase and this uh, released tDNA region will be integrated into the plant chromosome and this region only it will transfer to the plant and then plant it will integrate into the plant as you know. Now we will see the overview of the infection process. So it will start when the plant cell will be wounded and wounded cell will produce these phenol and sugar type of compounds and these sugar type of compound mainly uh, produced by the bounded cells like acetocerone zones and these uh, these type of molecules will attract the uh, bacterium because agrobacterium tumefaciens is a motile type of bacteria it will easily attract the towards the bounded uh, bound of the cell so acetocerone zone attached to the cell surface receptor of the agrobacterium and it will activate the virulence gene which is present in the tDNA region. So here you can see the tDNA-TPI plasmid and which is having VIR region and VIR region contain many genes and this TI plasmid is, is having 200 kilo per square uh, sequence and uh, when this acetocyringe activate the virulence genes so virulence protein will be synthesized in the response of the acetocyringe genes and these acetocyringe gene, genes activate the vir region and vir region will start synthesizing the vir proteins these vir protein will go and it will deattach the tDNA region and it will this tDNA region will be deattached from the plasmid. So this single standard tDNA region is ready ready to transfer to the uh, plant cell and in response of the bound it will start. So single DN, single standard DNA will be tra transferred and this DNA will integrate into the uh, host genome or it will integrate into the 
plants you know in the random position it's not a specific type of integration but it will integrate into the random position so t dna complex in four to nucleus and integrate it then in the next step synthesis of fopine uh, in the next step the gene will which is transferred from the bacterium to the uh, plant you know it will start synthesizing three type of biomolecules first it will synthesize the amino acid or opine type opine amino acid will transfer to the agrobacterium and it will nourish the bacteria then another two molecule biomolecules like cytokine and oxo oxine is there and the cytokine and oxine can help in the dal formation so tumor process tumor formation process uh, triggered by the when these uh, Uh, T DNA starts synthesizing cytokine and oxygen. Agrobacterium T DNA can can able to induce the gal formation when it, it, it will be infected to the uh, genome. Now we'll see the overview of the infection process. So it will start when the plant cell will be bonded and bonded cell will produce these phenol and sugar type of compounds. And these sugar type of compound mainly Uh, produced by the bonded cells like acetosterone zones and these uh, these type of molecules will attract the uh, bacteria because agrobacterium tumefaciens is a motile type of bacteria it will easily attract the to bond the bonded uh, bond of the cell so acetosterone zone attached to the cell surface receptor of the agrobacterium and it will activate the virulence gene which is present in the t dna region so here you can see the t dna tpi plasmid and which is having vir region and vir region contain many genes and this pi plasmid is, is having 200 kilo per square uh, sequence and um, when this acetosterone gene activate the virulence gene so virulence protein will be synthesized in the response of the acetosterone gene and this acetosterone gene genes activate the vir region and vir region will start synthesizing the vir proteins these vir protein will go and it will be attached to the t dna region and it will this t dna region will be attached on the plasmid so this single stranded t dna region is ready ready to transfer to the uh, plant cell and in response of the bound it will start so single dna single stranded dna will be tra transferred and this dna will integrate into the uh, host genome of or it will integrate into the uh, plant genome in the random position it's not a specific type of integration but it will integrate into the random position so t dna complex in four to nucleus and integrate it then in the next step synthesis of fopine uh, in the next step the gene will which is transferred from the bacterium to the uh, plant genome it will start synthesizing three type of biomolecules first it will synthesize the amino acid or opine type opine amino acid will transfer to the agrobacterium and it will nourish the bacteria then another two molecule biomolecules like cytokine and oxo oxine is there and the cytokine and oxine can help in the dal formation so tumor process tumor formation process uh, triggered by the when these uh, Uh, t dna starts synthesizing cytokine and oxygen gene agrobacterium t dna can uh, can able to induce the gal formation when it, it, it will be infected to the uh, genome now some important points monocode don't produce acetosterone in response to bond bonding so when monocode can't able to produce the acetosterone so it will not attract the agrobacterium that's why if you are if you are giving the you are transferring the foreign gene into the plant cells or specifically monocode so that you have to give the very less amount of acetosterone zone and you have to create the bond the bond so when you will create the bond so that it will induce the agrobacterium vir region and these external stimuli will induce the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer so another point we have to put any dna between the left and right border of the t dna and it will be transferred to the plants so the region where the dna is inserted is left or left and right border and in between any gene of interest if you will 
engineer so that's the the portion the dna region or left the region where the left and right border in between it will be transferred from agrobacterium to the plant genome then engineering plants with the agrobacterium so two problem we have to overcome first ti plasmid is a large difficult to manipulate so tr ti plasmid is very large and it is very difficult to manipulate it and it couldn't regenerate plant from the tumor uh, then we will transfer the dna region from uh, bacterium to plant genome so those plants which is having already infected so those plant they will lose the trophy potency so it is very hard to regenerate create the plant from the tumor cells now next is binary vector system in binary vector system we have to follow some strategy first is the move t dna onto a separate small plasmid so t dna region we will transfer into the ss separate small uh, plasmid that's why we are calling binary binary means two two vector system that's why we are calling binary vector system so two separate separate plasmid we have to prepare and t dna region we will transfer into the another plasmid and we will remove the ox and cyt genes in from the plasmid and we will insert selectable markers like canamycin resistance gene or other uh, antibiotic resistance gene in the t dna region where genes are retained uh, on a separate plasmid because they are very important for the virulence or uh, gene transfer that's why we have to retain uh, the where region on the separate plasmid so one uh, plasmid is containing the t dna region and another plasmid is having the pure regions so put these two plasmid we have to utilize for the uh, gene transfer method in the agrobacterium and we are calling binary vector system so uh, we will put the foreign gene which between the t dna border and co transform agrobacterium with the both plasmid so in fact plant with the transform back so when this co transform bacteria will be in fact the plant so that our t dna region will be easily transformed from the bacteria to the plant now here we can see the binary vector system agrobacterium to efficient as a tool of genetic engineering genetic engineering so two vector we are preparing in one vector uh, you have only virulence gene the region and origin of replication and another vector you have to prepare with the t dna region and left and right border is present on the second vector and in between of the second vector you can able to insert your selectable markers and uh, your gene of interest and origin of replication also you can able to put uh, agrobacterium base origin of replication or e coli base uh, origin of replication you are you can utilize so these two vector when we were utilizing we are following binary vector systems is two that we are using since it is very hard to utilize a single vector that's why two small vector we pre prepared and using this binary vector we can able to infect the plant cells and we can able to transfer this t dna region so where genes and t dna can on the separate plasmid only left and right border are required to be transferred from the binary vector system to the plant genome that's why we are calling binary vector system now practical application of agrobacterium mediated plant transformation so agrobacterium mediated transformation method are thought to induce less rearrangement of the plant gene and lower transient copy number that direct dna delivery method is there successful production of the transgenic plant depend on the suitable transformation protocol protocol when we are producing the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer so that success rate is very less and since only one infection cause the one t dna transfer so the less copy number will express less amount of uh, transgenic protein and we have uh, we are having less amount of the transgenic protein so we can increase when we are getting more uh, copy number but in the uh, when we are using the uh, agrobacterium gene transfer method so agrobacterium gene transfer method we uh, we can transfer only one copy number and less copy number it is there that's why the success rate it is less and the production of the trans 
transgenic protein will be less. So if you will compare with the other method like the micro injection, micro projectile bombardment or electrofusion, so we can increase the copy number uh, when we are transferring multiple the genetic material in the single cell. Here only one time you can able to transfer, that's why low copy number will be there. Then if you will conclude the agrobacterium gene transfer method, so agrobacterium are biological vector or induction of the genes into the plant for the introduction of the genes into the plant. Agrobacterium mediated gene transformation is not restricted to the eukaryotes as agrobacterium is also able to act on the gram positive bacteria, streptomyces, lividens, agrobacterium can transfer not only DNA but also protein to the host organism for through its Thai force uh, secretion system. So agrobacterium is a very useful system and uh, many plant varieties be uh, prepared using the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer and we can easily transfer uh, the genetic material not only Thai code but more nowadays monocode also we can able to transfer. Now some important books on, on this topic. So first book is the Plant Cell and Tissue Culture by Indra K. Vasil and Trevon K. Thor. Second book is the Plant Cell and Tissue Culture, a tool in biotechnology basics and application principle and practice by Carl Harman Newman and Ashwani Kumar. Third book is the Plant Cell and Tissue Culture Methods in Molecular Biology by Jeffrey W. Pollard and John and Gopar. Fourth book is the Plant Cell and Tissue Culture for the Production of Food Ingredients by Chong, Hong, Jen, Fu and Gurmeet Singh. So these are all books is very important and uh, if you want to further study on the basis of the molecular, so you can study these are all books and um, you will get uh, more details, you will, you will get the more insight detail in these books. Now we will see the, some important multiple choice question. First question is agrobacterium plumifacians is a space. Option A, fungi. Option B, virus. Option C, protozoa. Option D, bacteria. So you have to select the correct answer. Then next question, will genes required for the tDNA transfer and processing are located? Option A, on the tDNA. Option B, outside the tDNA region. Option C on the plant genome, option D in the soil. So again, you have to select the correct option. Then next question, plant transformation vector based on agrobacterium can generally be divided into option A, two vector system, option D, four vectors, option C, six vector, option D, eight vectors. So again, you have to select the correct answer. Then next question, tDNA transfer and processing into plant genome require products of which of the following genes? Option A, VIR A, B. Option B, N, I, F, G, C. Option C, C, H, I, D, E. Option D, O, P, E, D. You have to select the correct answer. Then next question, because of the large size of, size of the PEI plasmid, intermediate vector are developed in which tDNA has been subclawed into option A, PBR322 based plasmid vector, option B, PRK2013 vector, option C, PRN3 vector, option D, PBR456 vector. So again, you have to select the correct answer. Then next question, the transfer of intermediate vector into the agrobacterium are both about by option A transformation, option B by parental mating, option C tri parental mating, option D transduction. So again you have to select the correct answer. Then next question, in response to the activating sing signal molecule and the endonuclease is produced that cause nick in the tDNA, it is encoded by option A vir A, option B vir B, option C vir C, option D vir D. So again, you have to select the correct answer. Then next question, the right segment of octopine tDNA is necessary for option A, enzymes for agropine biosynthesis, option B, tumor formation, option C, conjunctive transfer, option D, weird region. So again, you have to select the correct answer. And thank you for being with us. Here we are uh, completing the agrobacterium mediated gene transfer method. And uh, we will start, we will meet you again in the next topic. Thank you.